Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is a first look for a kit from Diamond Art Club. It is Burnt Rose by Chris Ortega. So I have not done a Diamond Art Club video in quite a while. This is the first time that I am receiving the new box setup and the new toolkit. So that's why we're gonna do this part face to face, but then we will look at the canvas on my normal phone core and stand and all that. But I have an older kit here. So I wanted to compare the boxes because when I pulled this out, love the changes they did on the box. I mean, the image is really big. If you look, here's an old box. You can see how different it looks, right? The logo is even bigger on the bottom. And then on the side, which I really loved, this is like raised. You can, it's, feels like braille. Like you can feel it with your fingers. And I was pleasantly surprised when I did that. So let's open this up and take a peek. Um, the details for Burnt Rose, it is 22 by 31. It's round diamonds and it has 40 colors, including one AB and two fairy dust. And it retails, I think, for $65. So, okay, this is different. So when you open the box, ooh, fancy. This is fancy pants now. You pull it out and it has this like insert. Awesome, right? Okay, so let's take a peek. It looks like this is the same where the bag, the diamonds are in here, the canvas. We will look at that in a second, but let's take a peek. Okay, so now they do it. Thank you for your purchase. It's like a little envelope. What is in here? Oh, the normal, this used to be, oh, okay. Oh, they don't do the big sticker anymore. That's okay. I will still probably put this, this is interesting, because I used to put this in a plastic sheet protector and I would stick this to the door of my credenza when I diamond painted. So this is going to be a little bit different. I will still put this in the sheet protector I'm expecting. I don't know how I'm going to do that. So now you get this and then there's the key. Okay. I will say I miss the bigger sticker, but I understand that sometimes Changes have to happen. If I can get that back in there. Okay. The little envelope is cute though. I do like that. Oh, that's supposed to go in there, duh. That is a, a cute little packaging though. All right, so let's look at the toolkit. So here is the bag. This is different. And let's pull it, oh wow, okay. Like I said, it's, it's been a hot minute since I have. Okay, so the normal bags. Then, so you do still get wax, but you also get putty now. I did hear some rumblings on the group because now the pen looks like this, where you, okay, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> There's gotta be a way to get that off of there, right? User error here. And it does come with a bigger multi-placer and then there's a smaller one on the back. There's gotta be a way I'm guessing to get, oh, here we go, it's coming off now. I just had to like hold it. Okay. Interesting. There's putty in there. And then they give you more putty to put in it. So, all right. I will have to give that little pen a shot, even though I still use the glue dots to diamond paint. 
um, the glue dots are wonderful and they last a really, really long time. Okay. And then the tray. So the tray is completely different as well. Ooh, very nice. It says Diamond Art Club, like etched into the side of it. It has a lid, which is fantastic. Very nice, feels good quality, the tray. Slides very nice and easy. Bigger tray, and then it also has a stopper. So this is nice. If I can get it back on there. What is there we go. Yeah, slides very, very nicely. So if you are just starting out and you don't have all the tools and gadgets that most of us have, this will suffice. This would have been fantastic to have when I first started because I didn't have all that stuff. But okay, I'm gonna pause, get the canvas, <laughs> get the canvas up on the board, and we are going to look closer at this piece. Okay guys, here is the canvas. It's beautiful. She reminds me of a character out of like Game of Thrones or something. So like I said, this is round with 40 colors. And you can see, I mean, this is a this is a much darker canvas than what I am used to working on. She's gorgeous though. Love her hair, love the roses, but it is a lot of darker you know, burgundies, tans, grays, browns. That is the color scheme. There is a little bit of red. You can see red here, here, her fingernails, her lips, but it is a lot of browns. Hence the name Burnt Rose, right? Okay, I forgot the diamonds. Let me pause one second. I forgot the specialty diamonds, I should say, because that's what we're gonna look at. All right. So there is one AB. There are not many specialty diamonds throughout this piece. There is one AB and it is 105, which is a brownish tan. So where this is, it's in her hair, like this lighter shade is all the AB's highlights. And then in some of the flowers. So there is... Like over here, there was some, and then down here, there was some. Well, that's her hair, so no wonder. But yeah, the ABs mostly for that color are in her hair. So that's going to look pretty cool. And then there are two fairy dust diamonds. So the first one is Z844, which is this, let me show you, which is this gray color. And that is in the gray accents. So there are accents, my God, I forget where it was. They're all over the place, like a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. They are sprinkled all throughout this in these little gray accents all throughout the piece. And then the final one is Z815, which is a beautiful burgundy color. I know it's hard to see. And those are in the accents for the flowers. So all of these flowers have little tiny accents of burgundy. That's where those are, all in those flowers. I loved this piece. I really did. When they sent me the picture and said, do you want it? Right away, I was like, absolutely. Because you know I'm a sucker for women, hair. I love that she's laying down in the roses. There are like thorns here around her wrist. Yeah, this one is really cool. And then even this emblem on her chest with her bodice, gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. I love Chris Ortega's work. So this kit was available for sale. I wanna say it was last week. It is up there. So I will link it down below so you guys can go ahead and purchase it if you would like. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.